Hey there, everybody. So, um, I put an exhaust system on my truck. It's from the collector back. I got Flowmaster um, cat or catalytic converters, and then a MagnaFlow exhaust into a three-inch dump out. So that MagnaFlow or muffler is basically there's nothing inside of it, and I'm getting a ton of drone inside my truck. It's driving me nuts. I really like the sound of the exhaust system on the outside, but inside the truck, it's ridiculously loud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, exhaust heat wrap and I'm going to wrap it around that muffler. This is just in a theory. I hope this works, but in theory it should work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pieces. These are five meters each long each. I'm going to use some wire and I'm going to uh, splice them together, wrap them around that thing. Hopefully just act like kind of dynamo uh, sound deadening and hopefully this works. Uh, the kit I got came with a bunch of uh, stainless bands, but obviously this isn't long enough to wrap around the entire muffler. So I'm going to start with inlet and then wrap all the way around and finish up on the outlet hopefully i can use these guys we'll see how this works So we're going to start off by splicing these two pieces of exhaust wrap together. What I used was some copper wire. It's actually from my fly fishing kit. I used, wanted to use a copper wire, a non-ferrous material that's not going to rust. Um, basically just stitch this thing together like you're going to sew anything, two pieces of garment material together. Went a whole lot better than I thought it was going to. The wire just kind of fed its way through as a needle, so to speak, and just made a nice little X sti stitch in it. The next step is I'm going to soak this exhaust wrap in water. Make it a little more malleable and hopefully that kind of keeps its shape a little bit better. So I'm just going to dump a bunch of water into the bucket, let this thing soak for, I don't know, 30 minutes, something like that. And then I'll hang it on a different bucket and let it kind of drip dry and get majority of the water out. I don't want to get soaked when I'm laying underneath this thing. And now we're going to start with the actual wrap on the muffler. So this is like 10 meters long. It's just kind of a patience thing. Start with one end, just kind of wrap it around. My plan here was to get the entire thing wrapped around, try to keep it nice and loose, and then go ahead and uh, start at the inlet side, go ahead and strap that down, and start working our way down, making sure I tighten it up along the way. I actually had to go two different uh, tries at this. I wasn't exactly sure how far of an overlap I could do with the wrap. I ended up doing like a half the width of the wrap overlap on it, and it seemed to work out pretty well. So my objective here is to try to keep make sure I get it wrapped around nice and tight. Um, these stainless clamps that I used came with the kits. And to be honest, it's the first time I ever used them. They're not like regular zip ties. They're kind of pulling through, use a screwdriver to kind of force them to get tension on it. They're kind of weird, but they seem to work out pretty well and they're stainless, so it should last them quite a long time. So this actually ended up working very well for my exhaust. I understand this is not the professional fix, but it's a quick fix without having to put another resonator or something inside the system. Um, for the amount of money that I put into it and the time that I put into it, well worth it. It really helped out the drone. The actual sound of it didn't really change much, but the wall, 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 wall going down the highway made a big difference. Really advise this for anybody that's dealing with any kind of drone in their exhaust systems.